Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are filming yet another speed review. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. So I do have a bunch of products in here to review. I will probably film soon an update to the low buy because it's not going that well. It's not that bad, but yeah, it's not great. So I will probably film that in the next month. It's been like two weeks since I last filmed something. So it's kind of strange. I was so, so excited to film today. I want to film three videos today. So it will be a long day, but I am so excited to film. I uh, was in team building last, last week, so yeah. You can see my mirror, that was not great. I was in team building last week, so I didn't film anything. And the week before I did film a bunch because I had some uh, days off after returning from uh, Rome. For today's video, I have a bunch of products, some really good ones, some really strange ones or not. For sure, not favorites. So let's start with hair products and Actually, let's start with some candles because, because why not? So Bed & Body Works finally did open in Romania. I think we have two stores or something like that. And one is very close to me, which is amazing. So I bought some candles. I do really like good smelling things. So I decided to buy some candles. I have three in here. The first one that I bought was this one. This is Vanilla Bean. I love vanilla, it's one of my favorite scents. I am a simple, simple girl, nothing too complex. It is what it is. Anyway, I really like vanilla, but I don't like vanilla candles. And I discovered that after trying other scents and I love this a lot more. And the room smells very cozy and I love the vibe, so yeah, there's a reason I didn't like candles before because I was just looking for that vanilla scent because I loved the smell um, before burning the candle, but while it was burning, I didn't like it. So yeah, this one, not my favorite. I don't recommend it. Don't love vanilla. So it is what it is. They are good candles in general, but I don't love vanilla candles, apparently. This one is my favorite, I think. This is, this smells so cozy and so spicy. I love it. So this is, again, from Bat & Body Works and it is the pumpkin clove one. And do we have the notes somewhere in here? We actually have something. Clove, clove buds, I have no idea what that is. Uh, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, fresh pumpkin. It smells delightful. I want to eat it. It's just amazing. And the room, and the room smells wonderful. And I actually did burn this one in this room. On the hallway, it was smelling very nice everywhere. So great candle i do recommend that one and i have another one this is berry waffle cone and do we have the notes for this one as well somewhere in here we have let me try we have sweet summer berries golden golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla so this has vanilla but because the other scents are present as well this smells so yummy. That waffle cone is waffle cone like a ice cream with a waffle and uh, berries. So like a I don't know, berry ice cream on top of a waffle. Something like that is uh, this smell and I love this one too, but for this season this is great. And I am very happy to discover that I do like candles. I just need to pick the right uh, smells and yeah my wallet is not that happy but whatever so <laughs> I like the coziness and the mood and I'm happy about that 
Let's talk about some hair products. These are the Bumble and Bumble. Uh, this is the dry spun texture spray and this one is the thickening uh, spray. One is with this thingy, how is it called? Airless pump or something? Yeah, anyway, it's this thingy here and I really like this one and this is like a watery formula. Uh, this you are using when your hair is wet and then you are blow drying your hair and I really like both of these, they are pretty nice. I do have another one that I like a bit better than this one. I'm very happy that I'm finding other texturizing sprays that I like because you know that I loved the IGK one but yeah I am uh, happy that I'm finding other ones because that, uh, that one is out of stock and it is what it is but that one smells the best still but this one is very very nice this is an airless pump as well this is from living proof and it's called the full dry volume and texture spray this is very nice as well the thingy is very strong i do like this one a bit better than the bumble and bumble just because i have it in my hair right now uh, my hair feels a bit dry and rough to the touch which usually sounds like a bad thing because you want your hair to be smooth and whatever but i like that texture because i can just do this thing and my hair is more voluminous and it's just textury which is a good thing for somebody with very straight pin straight hair so yeah i really like texturizing spray favorite thing this year very happy to try a bunch of hair products i think my hair is improving i love that i am very happy and my hair is actually a bit gray right now it has still some purple in it at least in the video but it is very very gray i want to go blonde soon so I'm prepping for that. And then I found a very good dry shampoo from the drugstore. This is the got to be dry shampoo, instant fresh up. And this is the extra volume ocean vibes. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just a fresh uh, scent, which I would prefer something else in a dry shampoo. But this is so good. I really like it. I prefer the the smells of the Batiste ones but this doesn't have a white cast and it's so good I really like it it is like a medium to high cleanse not the strongest one the Batiste one for sure is not the strongest one uh, out there either but doesn't have a white cast which is a big thing this is better than than Batiste. I said it. I think the Batiste ones are just a bit stronger but this doesn't have a white cast which is amazing the Batiste ones have pretty major white cast you can blend it but it is still there. I love this dry shampoo I'm almost out and I think at some point I will repurchase it it's very very good let's move into makeup i have a bunch of products and i am wearing most of them and i have some thoughts so let's start with a very good one this is the makeup revolution cream bronzer and i have ultra cream bronzer and i have the shade light i am wearing it today just in here it is very very natural a very very good shade for me this is amazing First of all, it is from the drugstore, very affordable and it's great. I will recommend this, it will be in my favorites, it's amazing really. It is very very easy to blend out. It's a great shade, I don't think you can see it on my skin, it's so so natural and you can build it up. It is so easy to blend, I don't have words, I will film actually today 
a ranking of my bronzers and highlighters and then I'm gonna do a separate video for blushes but this will be so high and it is so affordable amazing product makeup revolution did a really really good job but let's talk about a fail <laughs> this is the vive concealer i have the shade light number one this is the modern radiance concealer and i did film a first impression i don't know if this was I think it, this was in a first impression as well, maybe in the same video, I don't remember, but I will link uh, some uh, first impressions down below. This is not my favorite concealer. I could make it work with some foundations, but with the one in the video, no way, they hate each other. It's like they, I, they are created to hate each other it's unbelievable anyway this concealer it could look okay if i'm using just the tiniest amount ever but this concealer is so thick and these days formulas in concealers are just so lightweight more watery but the the main thing is that they are very lightweight like the nyx concealer the born to glow no that one as well, but the, the new one, how is it called? Anyway, the one with the pump, love that one. And that one is very lightweight. This is not that, I don't really like it. It's a good spot concealer, but for the under eyes, no way, it's too thick, too dry, looks a bit crepey. I really don't like it. I really like Vive as a company and the other products that I tested were amazing. So I hoped for this one to be great as well, but sadly it is a miss. And let's talk about the foundation from that video as well. This is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation and I have the shade LN3. This is a really good match for me. This is as well a very good match. I love the glass bottle and the packaging. This foundation is nice, but it's still not my favorite. It's a more lightweight, glowy foundation, serumy foundation, like the name is saying. It is a good foundation, but not. it will not become my favorite or something like that. And because this is so glowy, when I'm applying something like this, something very dry and thick, it's like they are... It's like I'm setting the foundation with the concealer. Weirdest thing ever, but they hate each other, like I said. So I did use them a second time together and <laughs> they are not a good match. Separately, I could make them work, but they are not great with other uh, things either. So they are not my favorite. It is what it is. So these two, I don't really recommend let's move to something that is very very great when i was in rome i bought two charlotte tilbury things because i really really wanted this hollywood flawless filter in the mini format because i knew i knew that maybe i would like this product but i don't need the full size and i bought this in sephora in rome i actually went to three sephoras so I could find this product, whatever. And this one is the Hollywood Beauty Wand and I have the shade Spotlight. These are amazing. I know that they have a lot of hype. It is worth it. I love this Hollywood filter mixed with foundations. Today I'm wearing the Project Pen one, the Fit Me by Maybelline, a very simple foundation from the drugstore. But with this one mixed in, it looks so natural, so glowy. That one is a more mattifying foundation, but it looks so natural. I really like this one. It's really good. And I don't know if you can see already, but I have it here. Like you can see the, the glass because I did use it a bunch of times. It's, it is really, really great. And this one as well. I'm wearing it today. It is my only cream highlighter, so 
the comparison with others is a bit unfair, but you will see in the in the ranking that this is pretty high and it's so so good. I really love it. I don't know. I didn't test other cream highlighters. No, actually that's a lie. I did test other cream highlighters, but I don't even remember. I think I tested one from NYX, but I didn't like it. So that's one, but I think that's the only one that I tested in, in my life. So this one is amazing. I really love it and it looks so natural. Great, great product. They are worth the hype in my opinion. Let's move to something else for Makeup Revolution. This is the Super Dewy Liquid Blush and I have the shade Flushing for you. Unfortunately, I don't like this one. I'm wearing it today. I have on top a bit of the Pixie, where is it? Pixie Vitamin C Blush. Love this one. And because this usually is a bit patchy on this cheek, and this cheek only, uh, I use that uh, that blush on top just to just to add a bit of color in some areas. It looks really nice right now, but it's not that easy to use. This bronzer is the easiest thing ever. It is damp proof. You can't mess it up, but this one is not that. I tested it with a brush and with a sponge and with my finger actually and it's not that it's not that easy to use it is easy to blend but it gets patchy and if you get some patchiness you will not be able to fix it with this product you will need a powder product next let's talk about the thing that i have on my lips this is the makeup forever rouge artist forever matte and I have the shade 192 toffee at all hours. I do like this one. It looks really nice on the lips, but you need to know that this is not a moussey formula. This dries down completely and it looks really nice. It can become a bit dry in a few hours, but it's not uncomfortable. I'm very happy that I bought it. It is a really nice color and I do like it. So you need to know if you don't like formulas that are drying out completely, you will not like that. Another thing for lips, I did buy the Fenty eyes. I was too curious. I do really like the Fenty formula and I wanted to see if this is similar to the Huda Beauty icy thing that I don't really like. And sadly, this is a bit, a bit similar. This smells again like me, like mint, but I don't love this smell. I prefer the Catrice ones. It is what it is. This is a bit painful as well. It's a lot more cooling than the, uh, than the Huda Icy one, but it is still painful, which I don't appreciate. So I prefer the Catrice ones. I will recommend those and yeah. Then I have a mascara. This is the Essence, another volume mascara, just better. Don't love the name. I am wearing it today, but I do have lashes. So in here you can see. I'm a bit confused with mascaras at this moment because a lot of mascaras just look, look nice. It is the mascaras or it is my own lashes because I don't want to brag, but <laughs> I do have pretty long lashes. I'm very happy that I have these kind of lashes. So most mascaras look at least decent on my lashes. Essence does mascaras really, really good in general. This, was, this one is not an exception. I do like this one. It's not better than the pink tube of the Essence Lash Princess. I think that one is my favorite. The only thing that is very strange about it is that when you apply it, it doesn't seem like a wet mascara, but it takes so long to dry, which is very annoying because 
when I'm applying lashes, the mascara is still a bit wet. Very annoying, I need to wait a pretty long time. Don't like that, so it is a decent mascara. But again, I would recommend the Lush Princess line. It's just, it's just better. And the two last products are palettes and I have the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. This is not really my dream palette, but <laughs> that's the name. It is very beautiful. I am wearing this one and the other uh, palette as well today. Very beautiful. The formula is good as always. It is a more neutral palette with some purples. This multi-chrome, it is really great. What can I say? I really like this palette. It's very, very good, but it's not my favorite Natasha Denona palette. If you have a lot of palettes from her, I don't think you need it, but I am very happy to own it. And the other palette, we have the Ilamasca Experimental Artist. Oh God, that word again. Artistry <laughs> palette and this is a rainbow and it is full mattes. Of course, I don't love that. I love some mix of shimmer and mattes, but this formula is pretty good. It's a bit too dry in my opinion, but you can make it work. It's a decent formula. I would grade it like a seven or something like that. If Natasha Denona is like a 9.5, let's say. I'm keeping a 10 just in the air, but if this is a 9.5, this is like a 7, something like that. You can work with these shades. They are not the, the most uh, blendable or buildable shades, but they are pretty good. So I am happy to own that palette and I used the green on the lower lash and I do have some orange into the crease, some of this in here and I have this greenish uh, bluish shade on the lower lash. It was actually a birthday gift so I do have very very uh, fun memories around it and yeah this was the video these are all the products I hope I'm not gonna buy a lot more in the next months but I need to film an update for the low buy I just I don't know I I am a bit annoyed um, by the low buy and by myself, which is not a good spot. Makeup should be fun, not annoying or frustrating. So I feel like I need to film that. So if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.